histograms. This section is sort of short because it only has one idea. Histograms are bar graphs, so we use vertical bars that are right next to each other. There's no gap in between them, and we're going to be using numerical data. Before we can make the graph, we need to make a frequency table, which is good practice. We've done that before. And the data that I've chosen is Major League Baseball. This was for last season, which was 2013. And we're going to use the number of runs. So notice that the R has already been sorted. So it's going from Boston with the most runs. And then down, down, down. Eventually, we find San Francisco. Oh, they're there in 21st place. Hopefully better this season. Next up, I'm going to create five categories. So the histogram is going to have five bars. And we may need to make a frequency table. So we've done this before. So first you find the range. So that's the Boston Red Sox, 853. In 30th place, Miami Marlins, 513. And that's the range. Subtract those. And since we're going to have five bars, then divide by five to find the width and it turns out to be a 68. If it was a decimal, if it would have said 67.1, I would have rounded up to 68, but it came out to be 68. So, as mentioned before, you start at the bottom number, 513, and then you go from here to here by adding the width 68, and then add 68, add 68, add 68. And then you fill in this number, because if this one starts at 581, then this bottom one down here has to stop at 580. And then the last part, part is just count. So you just go over and say how many are between 513 and 580. Miami Marlins all by themselves. And then the next category, you would just count, etc. And then at the end, you should make sure that this adds up to 30. Let me double check that it does. This would be 21, 22, plus 8 is 30. Excellent, 30 teams. All right, we're almost done. Now what we do is you look at this five, this category that goes from 513 to 580 and find the number that's in the middle. So just add those two numbers together and divide by two. And this you can't round. You just need to leave it exactly as it is, that decimal. So 564 and a half, that basically represents the bottom category. And then you do that with each class. So the next one would be the 581 plus 648 divided by 2, etc. And those numbers are going to be put on the bottom or the horizontal axis. And finally, the graph is going to look like this. So you put the class mark, it's called the middle, and that's going to be in the middle of each bar. And then just draw the bar, how tall it's supposed to be according to the category. So this tallest one went up to 12, and then now. So this looks like a skewed distribution. It went up really fast, and then it slowly came back down. So this one is skewed. And that's section 2.3.